Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison apologised for the country's slow vaccination rollout on Thursday as more than half of the country's 25 million population are under lockdown. A year and a half into the pandemic, some 13 million Australians are under hard lockdown, raising pressure on the federal government, which has seen its polling at uh, its lowest in a year due to a sluggish immunisation programme. Just over 11% of the population are fully vaccinated, the main vaccine in the government's arsenal, developed by AstraZeneca PLC, has been recommended for use only for people aged up over 60 due to a remote risk of blood clotting, while a vaccine made by Pfizer has been restricted to over 40s due to limited supply. I take responsibility for the vaccination program. Um, I also take responsibility for the challenges we've had. Obviously, some things within our control, some things that are not. And, uh, I'm, I'm keen to ensure, as we have been over these many months, that we've been turning this around. I'm certainly sorry that we haven't been able to achieve the marks that we had hoped for at the beginning of this year. Of course I am. Uh, but what's more important is that we're totally focused on ensuring that we've been turning this around. That's the sort of country we live in. People make their own decisions about their own health and their own bodies. That's why we don't have mandatory vaccination um, in relation to the general population here, because people make their own decisions. And we encourage people to make those decisions. We make as much information available to them as is possible. Um, the vaccines, like any vaccine, uh, with any vaccine, there are, risks, there are risks associated. And I won't go to, into each of the individual ones because I don't want to particularly draw attention to anyone. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.